namashiva students in this class of class 10 geography we shall continue the chapter uh, mineral in, uh, manufacturing industries so in this class we shall uh, we should we learn uh, we we'll learn about the mineral based industries now what is the mineral based industry industries which obtain the raw materials from the minerals and are called the mineral based industries the mineral based industries in india are the backbone of our country of our economy the main industries including the category of the uh, uh, including uh, the category of the mineral based are iron and steel heavy engineering chemical industries aluminium industries etc so first we should we should start up with the iron and steel industries iron and steel industry is the basic of modern industrialization it has an essential role in meeting and challenges of development in the country the production and the consumption of steel is the index of economic development of a country it is the foundation of modern machines tools transport railroad water transport etc it is used in making of infrastructures bridges agricultural implements and many other products of daily use it supplies basic raw materials for a large number of industries such as engineering automobiles ship building machine tools etc steel is widely used in the making of defense equipment and the consumer goods now in your textbook the iron and steel industry is the basic industry since all other industry why because all uh, kind of machinery parts made uh, through this uh, iron and steel industry so iron and steel industry is a basic industry and the production and the consumption is a steel industry is known as the index of development already i have mentioned why the iron and steel industry is the basic or key industry as all other industry depends on it for the machinery machinery parts because of its hardness toughness durability and low cost of the production iron is the most important and widely used metal in the world arts in truly an age of steel we are in the age of steel now iron ore coking coal and limestone these are required in the iron and steel industry and there is a proportion different proportion 4 is to 2 is to 1 this is the proportion of the iron ore coking coal and the limestone sometimes some manganese also used in the iron and steel industry now if you see the data you can see that 2013 14 the production of the iron iron is uh, 18 7.67 iron and steel and it is highest in in the 2016 and 17 101.3 101.3 but there is a question the per capita consumption of the steel is so low in india why because number one high cost and the limited availability of the coking coal due to the high cost and the limited availability of the coking coal coking coal is very very important for the these industries number two poor infrastructure to development or to consumption of the iron and steel that means we have to use machinery in our industry in our farming sector but in case of india there is very poor infrastructures most of the farmers are not using the machines i am telling about the primary sector in the secondary sectors only the big industries all, uh, use the modern machinery so this is the main cause of the low consumption of the steel and the last cause is the electricity sometimes we have to depend uh, the hydraulic power also uh, not in also the thermal power because there is a problem in the electricity in the remote areas that's why there is a consumption of the uh, steel is so low in india now one thing what is the mini steel plant see here is written mini steel plant are smaller have electric furnace use steel scarp and sponge iron so what is mini steel plant steel plants were all the processing 
is not done at the one plant is known as the mini steel plant they use electric furnace mini steel plant use sponge iron scarp iron peak iron these are the qualities of the iron for the raw material and make liquid steel which is turned into ingots ingots so the produce so first produce the liquid steel after this liquid steel this liquid steel are used in the different different uh, uh, steel production and different different uh, sectors and the mini steel plants are distributed in different parts of the integrate uh, different parts of india now what are the advantages of this mini steel plant most of the mini steel plant are located in the industrial towns far away from the integrated steel plants to meet the local demand and reduce the transport cost so mini steel plant is used due to useful due to the local demand and they use the sponge iron scarp iron which are easily available in the country and also the cheaper heavy capital investment not required in the mini steel plant and they produce the special steel like alloy steel stainless steels etc they do not cause pollutions and the period of the construction and the gestations is also very short now there is a process of the manufacturing of steel first transport of the material that means iron in the plant where the steel will manufacture next iron is melted iron is melted limestone is required for this and also the cooking coal now the molten materials poured into the molten uh, poured into some pots is known as the pigs that that why it is known as the pig iron from this pig iron it is further purified by melting oxidize uh, thing their impurities and in the pure pig iron we have to add manganese nickel and chromium to make it the steel after making the steel there is a shaping the metal the rolling pressing and the casting which is also known as the millable so it is the process the first step is the transport we have to start to transport the raw material for the steel making then we have to melt the iron by the limestone cooking coal then after the melting uh, melting done we have to pour the molten material in a molds is called the pigs so, and next step after the pig iron uh, processed the, the next step we have to purify the pig iron and um, by oxidizing it and we have to add manganese nickel chromium and then we have to shape the metal this is the main process of the iron and steel industry now here is some some distribution of the iron and steel uh, plant see in the southeast portion the banpur durgapur bokaro jamshedpur raurkela vilai and in the southern portion vijayanagar vadravati salem is the distribution now what is the integrated steel plant already we have known about the uh, mini steel plant now what is the integrated steel plant integrated uh, steel plant is a uh, mainly located at the close proximity of the raw materials why it is known as the uh, integrated because it's a large plants handles everything in one complex that is that's why it is known as the integrated integration means just adding some components some parts and making an one whole so this is a very large not like the mini steel plant it and it is a one complex for putting together raw material and to steel making the full pro process what you have seen in the uh, chart that uh, uh, sending the raw material then it uh, uh, melting the iron by the limestone and the cooking coal then uh, after the iron melt done then we have to pour this melted material in pig iron after the formation of the pig iron we will uh, make it uh, the steel and then we will shape the steel so this whole process will complete in the one complex this is known as the integrated steel plant and this integrated steel plants mainly located in the close proxi proximity to the raw material for as the raw materials of the steel is the iron ore and it is bulky so so due to the reduction of the transport cost integrated steel plants are located in the proximity to the raw material source they employ large number of people 
Hence, it solves also the uh, unemployment problem and it aims towards helping the engineering, automobile and the construction sector in domestic and the international market. Most of the steel plants of India are in the sale, uh, that means the steel authority of the India. In 1950s, China and India has produced almost the quantity of the steel and today China is the largest and China is the world largest consumer of steel. Chattanagpur Plateau region has the maximum concentration of the iron and steel industry. Why? Because low cost, co cost of the iron ore, high grade raw material available there, labor is very cheap. And the, why labor is very cheap? Because the surrounding region, that, that means the Bihar, Orisha, there is a high population, uh, dense population over there and uh, there is a good market also. Now, what are the hindrance of the uh, consumption of the steel in the India? Already I have mentioned high cost of the limited availability of the cooking coal, which is also required for the melting. Low productivity of the labor. Yes, we can get the cheap labor, but the productivity or the specialization is very low. Irregular supply of energy and the poor infrastructure. Now, government um, has given their uh, a liberalization policy. What is the liberalization policy? Liberalization is policy is the process of means of the elimination of the control of the state over economic activities. It provides greater autonomy to uh, the business uh, enterprises uh, uh, in the decision making and eliminate the government interference fully. And also the foreign company direct invest uh, in our uh, industrial sector, in uh, iron and steel industry. And also we have to import some better quality iron, um, better quality iron or better quality still from the other countries. So this is all for the iron and steel industry. In my next class, I shall continue the other industries of this chapters. Namashivaya.